Choosing the right knee brace design for your pergola can greatly enhance the finished look. To help you with this, we've created a series of templates that you can download and print. These are available in PDF files, like what's shown here. You can see that this pattern is full size at 36 by 48, which is not a paper size typically available in home printers. You have two choices. One, send the pattern to a print shop and have them run it off quickly, or two, do a poster print using a smaller paper size. We'll do the poster print option here to demonstrate. First, take the window out of full screen view so that you can adjust the aspect ratio of the print. In your PDF viewer, use the marquee zoom tool to zoom in on the size of pattern you want to print. Adjust the size of the program window so that the template just fits. Next, go to File Print and change to the Current View option or similar. Under Page Scaling, change to Tile Large Pages or Poster Print or another similar option. If the option is available, change the overlap to something like 0.1 inches and then print. In our case, the pattern printed to 12 pages. These are easily cut out with scissors and then can be taped together to form the larger template. Start by laying out the sheets in the order they should be for the layout. Next, trim off the margin on the paper sheets where they overlap. We have provided cross hatching on the sheet to make aligning the sheets much easier. Place a piece of tape at the page overlaps where the thicker outline of the template is. This process is a bit tedious, but it only takes a few minutes to complete. After you have all the pages aligned, cut out your template. Our plans use double 2x6 boards for the knee braces. However, some of the templates require 2x8 boards in order to fit the pattern, which is the case with this template. Start by cutting the 8-foot board in half so you're left with two 4-foot lengths. Then, trace out the pattern with a pencil or permanent marker. If you can, orient the pattern so that any defects on the board are trimmed off. Spread some exterior rated construction adhesive on one of the boards and sandwich the other board on top. These boards have a bit of a bow in them, so we use some C-clamps to flatten them out. Fasten the boards together using about 10 10 penny galvanized nails or decking screws, keeping the fasteners within the pattern you traced. Next, use a jigsaw to cut the pattern out. Since you're cutting through 3 inches depth, you will need a longer jigsaw blade than what's typically used, in this case a 5 and a quarter inch long blade. You will find that making relief cuts makes the process a little easier. If you have a bandsaw, this will make the cutting process a lot easier. As you can see, if you have a nice sharp blade and a steady hand, the cut really shouldn't need any sanding at all. Once the pattern is cut out, use your circular saw to cut the miters on the ends of the boards. Since your saw blade won't cut a full 3 inch depth, finish the cut with your jigsaw. If you have a miter saw, that will make this step easier. You may have some cleanup work on this cut, which can be done with a chisel or more easily with a flush trim router bit. This next step is optional, but definitely recommended. Check a 1 8 inch roundover bit in a router and use this to soften the corners of the cuts you just made. Not only will this keep it from splintering, it will also make a professional presentation. We'll go over attaching the knee brace to your pergola in the next video. Don't forget to check out the Apex Pergola Design website for all the knee brace templates we have available. A link to these is shown below in the description. Thanks for following along, and we'll see you next time.